Hey guys, welcome to the episode number 8 of Untaught Mary Secrets Podcast. And today what we're going to talk about is investing in yourself. Should you really pay money to get in all those trainings? And because, you know, there's a lot of hate about these things. And if you go on LinkedIn and you just, you know, see people's posts and their opinions everyone is saying don't invest in training don't pay people don't you know and uh, i'm gonna talk about this thing today and once again this is you know this is just like the past podcast which i did it's kind of like a random one because you know i'm not in my studio right now i'm just walking somewhere and I think this is one of the good ways to make a podcast because I can just get a podcast uploaded in a really short amount of time if I do it like this, you know, when I'm not in a studio. Instead of waiting for one month to get a topic and then recording it professionally in a studio and edit it and all that. I actually sent an email to my email list of over 9,000 people and it will be 10,000 soon. And, you know, I asked them, what would you... I asked them what they would like. Would you like, will they like the, will they like more podcasts or would, would they like less podcasts but more professionally edited and on a less frequent basis? And majority of the people said more podcasts. So that's what I'm basically doing right now. More podcasts. Basically, whatever raw information I have to offer, I just give that information in these podcasts as I'm thinking about it rather than planning it out and all those script making and recording professionally. It's basically a very raw kind of podcast. But this way I can get more podcasts out as what a lot of people requested me. So today what we're talking about is investing in yourself. I'm talking about your knowledge, not exactly your certifications because in my opinion, from knowledge perspective, certifications are useless. But the only reason you like, the only reason you want to get those is, you know, they are required by HRs, or let's just say, job descriptions require you to have certifications. You know, we as pen testers, we know that certifications are useless, but they don't know about it. You know, the people who are hiring, they just like they hire a programmer by their let's say their college degrees they hire pen testers based on their certifications so and actually pen testing is not even a job in my opinion it's oh wait a second a door just got let me just fix it wait a second all right so basically the place at which i am right now you know heavy winds are going on it's I don't know, it's not even the, it's summertime, but rains are almost, you know, weather is not so good right now. So that's why one door just collided or let's just say it got hit to one of the walls. And that's why that, that sound came. But anyways, what I was talking about, I was giving an opinion, I was saying, Pentest is not even a job, it's a service in its real sense. But that thing, I'll talk about it later on. What I want to talk about right now is, you know, as I was saying, people and the people who hire pen testers, people, companies, they think that people need to have certifications. And, you know, they think that, that that's the way we measure pen testers and their skills. They think if someone is try hack me top 1%, they know every single thing. They think, not exactly try hack me. I'm not even sure if they do that much research. They might not even know what try hack me is, but I'm just saying that they have different ways. They cannot really, they are not themselves pen testers. The people who hire you as a pen tester, they are not themselves pen tester and they cannot really evaluate or ask specific questions to you to measure your knowledge. So they will look at these certifications and all those. So that's why I think certifications, you know, People think that certifications are really good, but in reality, they are not. Now, I will talk about that thing as well on a different podcast because this will get too long for that. But, you know, 
in my opinion certifications are really just the only reason you get those is to show those to hrs to make your profile look better and more attractive because in reality no certification gives you enough knowledge and i'm not taking any names but almost all the certifications out there they will not teach you enough on the service side of pen testing they will not exactly teach you how to give a pen test service from start to end including signing agreements and all the way to reporting debriefing and you know how to sell your pen test service to your clients and even how to get clients they don't cover those kind of things so all you learn in those certifications and their syllabus is technical stuff right you learn about meta exploit sql injection you learn about all those overstep top 10 vulnerabilities and stuff but you don't really learn how to make money with it and that's why i think certifications are not really the good way to learn now if not certifications then what do you do so in our industry if you go to linkedin as i said a lot of times people will just say that do not invest in trainings they are worthless they always think that trainings are worthless and they they know everything themselves but if you see who people if you see and notice who are these people who are giving advices these are people who have never done any trainings themselves now i'm not talking about ceh ceh is a whole different you know topic <laughs> because it's just you know it's kind of messed up right now in my opinion as well i'm not talking about ceh but not all trainings are ceh there are some good trainings as well but how do you see if a training is good or not well you just see who is teaching it and what it's talking about because majority of the times people keep learning about technical things and they invest you know i know that a lot of you guys are having a udemy account and you guys are enrolled in lots of courses maybe some of my courses maybe some of uh, you know some other courses by some other instructors majority of them are not really teaching you what you need to know in reality if you want to do bug bounties or if you want to do pen testing they're not teaching you the whole process or maybe bug bounty to some extent yes they are teaching it to you but not exactly professional pen testing because they are not talking about these topics which i just described and in a lot of my previous podcasts i talked about this thing that they are not talking about what topics you know they are not talking about signing agreements compliance standards methodologies nothing is similar to how it works in the real world so that is basically the reason i think most trainings are not worth it and that's why there is this you know thing in our industry people say don't invest in trainings but in my opinion the reason you should invest in trainings is not because of the content itself not because of the video itself you know if it's a video course then videos if it's a article or something some other resource then articles but i don't think that's the main reason the main reason you should invest in these trainings is because of the help which you get the access which you get to experts you know most of the beginners and i'm not sure how many of you guys are in this situation right now but you have no connections in the industry like you are connected with students but you're not really connected to anyone who has worked in the industry or maybe you are but they are not really teaching you you know not everyone is a good teacher it's it's also a fact if you know something it doesn't means you can teach it as well teaching is a whole different thing and there is a there's a lot of passion needed for it as well and sometimes most of the times actually experts just don't have any time for you you know they don't have any time to give you an answer your questions and you just often don't get the opportunity to ask them the questions but that's why you should invest in trainings you know this is this is my opinion and my take on this thing okay you you can have your own take and you are free to comment whatever you think about it but i think that in reality you should invest in training because you get to ask questions and you know i'm talking about general trainings right now 
I'm not talking about, for example, you enroll in a Bob Sweet course and you are asking about some questions related to the general pen testing or agreements or templates, contracts, because it's not relevant. But I'm talking about a general pen testing class. You get to ask questions. In my experience, if someone asks me this question from, you know, what source have I learned the most things from, the most useful things from? And I'll say majority of what I've learned, the useful stuff, I've learned it by talking to people on chat. You know, it's it's hard to imagine if you have never done it, but majority of the good things, I have learned it by asking to people. You won't believe how many times I have got blocked by people because I asked so many questions that they had to block me just that I cannot ask more questions. This is what I used to do 3-4 years ago because I had this curiosity and I knew that these experts know something which might be helpful for me. So I used to ask all these people and not exactly spam but I used to, you know, ask a lot of questions, one after another. And well, that might not be considered a good behavior from your perspective, but I didn't care about it at that time. You know, when I was learning, I'm still learning. I mean, you never learn everything. You're never at a point where you just, well, I just butchered the words, like always, you know, you never exactly learn every single thing there is no point at which you know every single thing but still i think now i don't do this thing because i just if i want to learn something i pay and go to the training because it's just i know the value of it most of the times so you get to ask questions in any training and i think this is the main reason you should get in it because a training helps you and maybe this is, you know, this is getting a too serious topic right now, which I should do in a serious podcast. But this is what I'm thinking at this moment, that if you invest in trainings, you get to ask questions. And asking questions just means you're able to move one step further in your journey. Most of us don't have a supportive family. Most of us, we don't have a supportive, you know, friend zone or whatever you might not call it we don't have a friend circle which is supportive our friends don't appreciate us when we do something better than them or something like that we don't have supportive relatives like you know supportive teachers we have no support majority of students they are all alone they're learning all by themselves and this creates a lot of misconceptions and let me know if you agree with this thing that Unless and until you have worked in the real industry, you don't know how it's done. You don't know what is the right thing to learn and what knowledge is actually used in real world. So many people are wasting their time learning how to hack Facebook because they think that's what will make them a pen tester, but that's not true. And we all know that. But you know this. The three or four hundred people who watch my podcasts, they know about it. But majority of people don't, you know, they just, a lot of beginners, they keep learning about these things which are practically useless, which will not be used in your real life, at least if you're doing something legal. If you're doing something illegal like black hat hacking and phishing and all those scams, then maybe, yes, that knowledge could be useful for you. But I don't think that's what you're gonna, or that's what you're planning to do. You're planning to do something that will make your career in it. But that's not, you know, this knowledge is not gonna help you in that. A lot of people, they go ahead and they learn reverse engineering, how to crack, you know, softwares, IDM, and so many cracks which you get online. And malware analysis. Malware analysis is a good thing actually, but if you talk about reverse engineering, if you're trying to be a pen tester or anything, it's important and it's absolutely necessary for someone to understand about and learn about reverse engineering, it's not true exactly. Because nobody pays for reverse engineering. There is no client who pays for reverse engineering services. So most people don't think about money. They just think about learning. The fact is, there is an ocean of knowledge. And 
it's endless so what you need to do is take a specialization for example web application pen testing or network pen testing and learn about it specifically because specialization is the thing which will really help you in this field you know specialization will make you if you're already a pen tester it will help you get promoted to a senior position but if you're not then it will help you get inside the industry because at least you're not doing random you know what you're you know what you can offer to a company you know that if you know and if you have specialized in web application hacking you can offer these auditing services or pen testing services to companies and otherwise if you're just a person has learned the basics of everything and you are not advanced or specialized in any specific thing you cannot offer any help of any sort to any company but i think i again got too off track and let's get back to the topic i was saying that majority of these students they you know they're alone they don't have a supportive family don't have supportive friends don't have anyone to support them and there are so many misconceptions they don't know how things actually work in the industry and that's why i think you need help with it because as i said majority of the useful stuff which i learned it's it did not come from any course did not come from any certification did not come from any training it came by asking people the people who created those trainings i asked specific questions i cleared my doubts how does a pen test start how does it end if you know if there is if i have to make a contract how do i do it if i have to use a specific methodology how is that different from doing uh you know a non standard type of pen test basically all those questions whatever comes whatever came into my mind i used to ask those but nowadays that kind of support is not possible because majority of those people they have switched from pen testing to information security management and you know cssp level stuff basically they don't do pen testing anymore so really there are not a lot of good trainers anymore in the industry if you think about it and the ones that they are present the ones that are here still they are just focus on technicalities you know they talk about how to hack things but that will at max take you to a junior position in pen testing but if you really want to make money with it if you really want to do something big then you need to do something called specialization as i said and for that you need help with it if you need help with it you pay money and you get it this is the idea which i'm trying to convey and yes i know this is a very unorganized podcast as i have already said in this one and in my last podcast because the information is just coming directly out of my mind i'm just saying those words which are coming directly from my mind raw information and i'm sharing it with you without thinking twice and that's why this information is not too organized a lot of us beginner pen testers out there we are so used to not spending money and saving money and not spending them on any training that we don't realize that if we don't spend money on them we don't get to ask questions and i know that you can learn and a lot of people have learned by themselves but how many of those people are really inside the industry as a working professional how many of them have really done projects well maybe some of them have but i'm what i'm trying to say is that you know a lot of times the research which it takes you originally to learn about any topic you can reduce that by a big margin if you just ask it to someone who has already done it over and over and for that if it takes you let's say a few hundred dollars it's fine just give it to them and get the information right now rather than waiting and you know asking chat gpt which is 
I think it's still very inaccurate in many aspects and you know a lot of people like I did a post on my LinkedIn a few weeks ago and I won't talk about the contents of the specific post but someone compared my thoughts to something which was written in chat gpt and he was so confident that he was right because he looked at chat gpt he trusted chat gpt so much that he was almost in a fight with me you know it was a verbal fight but he was not ready to agree that it's not how the chat gpt is saying it it works in the industry because it doesn't know what is the situation which is in reality you know it it just tells you the information which it has been trained on it doesn't know what actually goes on in a real pen test it can tell you some information it has been trained on but that's about it it cannot do more than that and then you know later on i think i explained that person the things which he needed to know and then he finally agreed that you know it was chat gpt is not always correct but sometimes people just fight they think that ai is gonna tell them the right thing and ai cannot be wrong in any that's what just people think you know a lot of people think that instead of getting help they should have just charge gpt about it because chat gpt knows every single thing but it does not and by the way i did a podcast a few months ago many months ago actually it was about will ai replace penetration testers so if you have not watched that podcast you might want to watch it just check the link in the description and you can watch about it i just randomly had this thought that you know i should tell you about that podcast as well because it's one of my most popular podcasts episodes and you know if you learn if you watch that video you will get to know a lot about what ai can do and what i what ai cannot do in the context of penetration testing so that was just a quick mention out here of that video and anyways another reason which you should get into trainings and ask people questions directly ask experts questions directly is because it saves you a lot of time you know i already said If you ask about anything to someone who's already done it over and over they just know the answer if you know I have done this a lot of times previously when I do know something you know what I do even in real pen tests what I do is I go ahead and I go to freelance websites I hire someone to tell me about it so if I'm if I don't know about you know a technology I don't know if what is jQuery I'll hire someone for five dollars. I'll hire an expert about it. I'll hire an expert who knows about it, and I will go ahead and take their help. I'll directly ask them because I can get my questions answered in a very short period of time compared to doing research on my own. The reason I'm talking about this stuff today is because I, you know, I have done that thing myself, and I would. You know, I think it was not the right decision to learn everything by myself, because something takes hundred hours to learn by myself, but I can learn that same thing in maybe just one hour or maybe in thirty minutes. The things which I really need to know by cutting off all that crap which is not used in real life, I can ask an expert and get to know the right information in the right amount, exactly how to do it. if i just ask a professional out there and this is what i was thinking about today and you know i just talked and i i want to hear your opinion on this what do you think if there is a training let me just give you a situation and this is what i want you guys to do just comment your opinion on this and of course i'll you know i read those comments and i'll reply to you what i think about it but what i'm saying is um let me give you a situation as i said If I or someone else an expert makes a course which is worth let's say which is which is $1000 and you know if I just go ahead or any expert basically if they just go ahead and teach you promise to teach you every single thing which you need to do a real pen test from start to end 
within one month or two months whatever time it takes you but you know they are willing to offer you personal help with whatever questions you have and they're willing to answer all the things which you have to say they're willing to review and give feedback on what you have created as part of the course or as part of the training and at the end of that training you just become enough powerful to do a real pen test from start to end by yourself without anyone's help would you invest a thousand dollars in it and i know majority of you guys will say no that's the thing you know you don't value like majority of the people they do not value their time they think okay i'll rather spend five years learning information on my own rather than spend a thousand dollars on something that will teach me the same thing in a month or two they would rather waste their five years of their time which won't come back but their money which for most people it just replenishes for most people the money just comes back they get their salary or paychecks every single month they won't spend that they would rather go ahead and go the hard path make their own mistakes and you know just a lot of people never get successful who have this mindset because they are trying to do everything themselves which is not possible which is not practical so that's what i'm saying in this podcast i think you guys should get help you know at any point now i'm not saying that you guys need help at this moment but i'm saying that if there is something which can help you to get the information in a very short period of time which is cutting all that crap which is making it extremely easy for you just invest in it because that's what i wish i would have done when i started you know and now that's a different topic how do you find a good training but i'm saying that if there is something like that just go for it and invest because that's the mindset you need to have you need to be willing to invest in yourself you're not investing in something like a pizza or you know if you go out for movies the money just disappears but you know if you go ahead and you invest it on a training it just makes you better now again i'll come back to that same point let's say you invest a thousand dollars on that training and within two months you become you know you know enough to do a real pen test then if you get one single project one single real client the whole money gets recovered if you get one bug on any big company that money is recovered and then after that whatever you make extra for your whole lifetime with that same knowledge it's pure profit but you will not get this kind of information in you know online for free because most people if you see who is posting these blog posts who is making these all you know articles majority of those if you just think about it they are all beginners themselves you're reading beginners and if you stay with beginners you will be a beginner if you be along be among experts you will become one of them it's just as simple as that the kind of people you be with the kind of people you become that's basically the main thing which you should realize and most people do not have as i said supportive families nobody is there to support them so they should support themselves by getting support by someone else because it saves them a lot of time so again if an expert made that kind of training which will teach you enough for your whole career and it cost a thousand dollars but if you get a real client just one real client which you know you will anyways want to get later on after five six years after you have learned it yourself but let's say in the next two months if you just get help you become you know you know you just become enough skilled and you go ahead and you like 
you get your first real client, that money, that thousand dollars is recovered. It pays for itself. And then what you do is pure profit. And that's why I think people should not try to save money in this aspect, in the aspect of investing in themselves. Because when, when I have invested in myself, I have realized that it works. You know, let me tell you a story basically. So in March 2022, I was trying to learn about flute, you know, an Indian flute basically. And I wanted to play some basic tunes on it, but I was ex absolutely confused. And then I found a teacher. It wasn't a local teacher, it was an online, you know, it was some training. It was a live session kind of training. And it costed about $200 and I paid it and you know it it had some videos it had a lot of things that did not help me much it helped me but you know still when see viewing the video and getting the knowledge it's one thing but getting feedback is the main thing which is the real benefit of a training when what you're doing is that correct or not you need that validation and i needed that validation when i was just learning flute now, I'm still not an expert at it, but the training was really good, actually. What I did, once, you know, I was very confused, I was not able to play high notes on the flute. So what I did, I sent an email to that guy, he was an Indian as well. So I, you know, that teacher basically, I sent him an email, I said, well, I'm not able to play high notes, what should I do? He said, come on a call with me. and. You know, when I got in the call with him, I think I was thinking this whole time that I was using a wrong technique and there would be some right technique which I should be, you know, using. For example, not for example, I mean, it was literally the same thing. Basically, I was not able to play high notes. I thought there was some problem with the technique and he would just tell me something new in the call. And, you know, I was not able to play high notes with the existing technique. But what happened is that when I told him and I when I when I came in that video call with him, I showed him the stuff. I showed him how I was doing it wrong. He said, man, you're doing it absolutely right. Then I did the same thing with more confidence and it worked. I literally did not change anything else, but I was just thinking this whole time that the technique was wrong, but it was not. I just needed validation. I just needed someone to tell me that this is the right thing which you're doing and just do it with more confidence and it works. I was able to play high notes on the flute as well. And you know, I don't have my flute right now around me because you know as i said i make these podcasts when i'm just walking and i'm just roaming outside basically so and that's why you might hear some background noises as well or maybe you won't but you know this is how i do my podcast right now this is what i'm doing right now but i don't have my flute around me so i cannot really play something for you right now but you know, otherwise I would have played something and um, showed you what I can do with it. But I'm not a expert in it, you know. I just, see, I'm not a serious musician or something. I just wanted to learn and play some basic tunes because it just, flute sounds awesome, you know. It's, it's pretty divine. So that's why I just want to play some basic tunes. But I did and I learned what I wanted to learn. And that training was successful in allowing me to do that. So that's why you need to be around experts, right? But those experts don't have unlimited time. They need, you know, they have 24 hours in a day, but especially if they're a content creator or something and they have lots of work, how will they get time to help you? And specifically, it's not just about answering questions, but it's about the feedback, the validation, the things which you, you know, there are lots of things which you, don't know what to ask about there are things in the industry which you have not even heard of but you know and like for example have you seen vulnerability chaining vulnerability chaining have you done it i'm not talking about a basic vulnerability chaining but you know i'll talk about that story as well how my mind got opened to something which i had never seen before when i 
saw some expert doing it and I was just mind blown but you know I'll, sh- I'll probably do it in the next podcast or if a lot of people demand about it yeah there are lots of things which I can cover in different podcasts it's really hard to cover that in just one but the main thing I'm saying is that the you know when you be with experts you learn things and you experience things which you could not imagine before and that's how I have learned most of the things by talking to people by and when I say people I mean experts who have done the stuff themselves because they know better than anyone else and they have done it themselves you know so it's just it makes it awesome and it just provides an environment for you to learn yourself and that's why I gave you this example I know this is not exactly related to pen testing and all but I'm just telling you a basic idea that and please answer that question if you haven't already done it will you invest in that thousand dollar training now after hearing all this right I don't have anything to sell you at the moment but I'm just saying in general if there was something like that existed if someone had this offer to teach you every single thing and cut the crap teach you exactly what you need to know and by the end of that training in one or two months you would be able to do real pen test and if you do just if you get just one real client whole money gets recovered then all the next clients you keep the profit and that money saves you a lot of time because maybe if you don't take if you do not take that training it will take you five or six years because that's how much time it has taken me so I know about it it will take you five or six years to learn and waste your time on things that did not matter and it's I'm telling you I realized this the very hard way so after listening all this would you invest if there existed a training like this and it does not have to be a training you know there are so many other kind of things in the industry masterminds there are inner circles there are basically access to experts if you had the opportunity to ask people questions would you do it and get all your doubts cleared get exactly what you need to do in real life to do the work and the same things which you would do in a real job if you had this kind of opportunity would you take it for thousand dollars now after listening all this let me know I think I have changed a lot of people's mindset now but I'm just telling that you can if you value your time more than the money then this is something which you should think about as well you know it's just it's just a great thing to think about and it's a successful people mindset I spend majority of what I earn in you know I reinvest that in my own knowledge and that's why I know so many things which a lot of people you will not really hear people talking about these things so often how many people do you hear talking about reporting I made a template which took me two years to build on my own if I had access to an expert I could just ask him the exact template he uses and I could make my own template based on that I have helped people in that same sense as well people have asked me for templates people have asked me for you know various documents and like feedback and I have given them the feedback but again an expert does not have time and that's why they need you know they have to take some money it's just not feasible for someone to help you personally with your specific problems work on your strengths and your weaknesses rather than anyone else and just making videos making videos for everyone at the same time it's not that hard but it's not that helpful as well you know making videos and just watching videos is not enough if you want someone to help you with the exact doubts which you have provide feedback on what you have to you know provide feedback on what you have created and tell you what you should do next in every single stage you know it's it's kind of awesome to have someone or a whole network of such people so that's basically what i want you to answer would you invest in such kind of a training if there 
existed something like this. Again, I don't have anything to tell you at the moment, but I'm just telling you from my personal experience that it is sometimes, not every time, because yes, some trainings are crap, but there is a possibility. And if there existed such a training, would you invest after listening to all this? Let me know in the comments. That's basically for this video. I know it again got very random, but it's just what I was thinking at the moment. I was remembering these stories and stuff which I just told you. It's kind of like talking to me, you know. I, I have a habit of talking to myself and it's kind of like, you know, at this point I feel like I'm just talking to myself and I'm recording it and I'm just giving it to you guys to hear as well. It's not really like a video or you know, it's it's different experience than the normal podcasts or videos I do because it's more about the raw information which is coming directly from my mind. Anyways, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Would you invest in such training? And you know, what do you think about investing in yourself in general? Thank you so much. I'll see you now in the next lecture, in the next podcast, which I can do probably today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow, but it will be soon. And I'll see you then. Bye.